We are back with more What's Now. When you are having a baby, it's a very exciting but also stressful time. And what if something goes wrong or what if your newborn comes down with an illness? We have some information about that right now. While COVID-19 vaccine boosters and mRNA vaccines may be dominating the headlines, there are many other viruses that can also cause serious harm but do not yet have vaccines. One of them is a common virus called a CMV, which can actually cause birth defects if passed on from a mother to her unborn child. Here now to talk about the efforts to find a vaccine are Dr. Lori Panther, Vice President of Clinical Development and Infectious Diseases at Moderna, and CMV parent advocate Jane Gaffney. Thank you so much, both of you, for being here today. Appreciate your time. And, Doctor, let's start with you. Since the COVID-19 vaccines are bringing more awareness about vaccinations, how is this helping research into other illnesses? Uh, thanks for that question. The, um, though none of us would have wished this pandemic upon the world, uh, I think what you just said, the key, the key word there is awareness. And I think what's taught us what, the, what, the, what this pandemic has taught us is how uh, the, uh, there is the ability of communities, of countries, of the world to gather together and learn quickly about an, a disease that nobody had ever heard about a few months prior. And um, I think it's a good example of what uh, we need to do in terms of uh, CMV infection. And uh, CMV is short for uh, cytomegalovirus. That's the name of the virus. But uh, for CMV infection, uh, to be able to, uh, to to take control of it in a way by learning about it, learning what it does, and learning its impact on the health of kids. And Shane, can you tell us how CMV has personally impacted your family? Sure. <clears throat> so my daughter, Grace, who is now two and a half, was born severely affected by CMV. And we, my wife and I weren't educated or told what CMV was or what to expect during our many prenatal visits. And we unfortunately fit that statistic where 91% of women don't know about CMV. But that's why Dr. Panther and I are here today in partnership with Moderna to raise awareness for CMV. And really in terms of personal impact, I would say that my daughter is you know, impacted from sunrise to sunset. And the most basic example I like to give is when you're sharing dinner, for say, and it typically gets a very happy, very joyful, very bonding experience. But in our family, it's essentially my wife or I pushing a button on Grace's G-tube pump to deliver her meal through the tube for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So not a very happy or joyful experience for us, unfortunately. Dr. Panther, what do you want people to know most about CMV? What I want people to know most about CMV is uh, it's a common infection. It's common in uh, most communities and countries around the world. It's, uh, as you mentioned, Christine, it is the most common infectious cause of, of birth defects. It's also the most common non-genetic cause of uh, childhood deafness and hearing loss. And that is a, a huge burden on the health of, of children worldwide. And uh, the knowledge about, the public knowledge about CMV is certainly needing help. It needs, we need people to start learning more about it. And this is our effort today and in the future and to have people start talking to each other about it and teaching each other about it. Also, Dr. Panther, can you tell us about current research on the CMV vaccine? Sure. Um, currently, there is no uh, CMV vaccine available. And uh, despite uh, over two decades of uh, uh, attempts to develop uh, a safe and effective CMV vaccine, our team has recently started a uh, large uh, phase three trial, uh, which is in, it aims to enroll a large number of women, up to 8,000 women. And uh, our goal is to test the effectiveness of a mRNA-based vaccine against CMV in that population. Uh, the uh, women, uh, the population of women are aged 16 to 40, which generally covers the years where uh, a woman may uh, become pregnant or want to become pregnant. Shane, how are you working to bring more awareness to CMV? 
Sure. So hopefully doing things like this will empower and motivate your audience to join us in our you know, fight to bring awareness to CMV. And if they want to learn more, we recommend visiting nowiknowcmv.com. Well, Sam, thank you for sharing your personal experience with this disease and the challenges that have come with it with your family. And Dr. Panther, I appreciate your time and explaining more about CMV with our viewers today. So thank you so much for being with us. Thank, thank you. you.